SPX Flow provides a tool to aid in the assembly and disassembly of the screw nuts on models 15, 30, and 130 universal twin screw pumps. To remove the left-hand screw, turn the screw so the end of the thread of the right-hand screw is lined up to the bottom. Insert the wedge component of the assembly tool into the gap behind the right-hand screw thread and angle it away from you. Turn the dowel clockwise until the wedge is in contact with the screws. Begin to loosen the left-hand screw nut with a wrench. The wedge should begin to engage in between the outside diameter of the left-hand screw and the root diameter of the right-hand screw. This prevents the screws from turning. Note that if the wedge does not engage soon enough, it may be pushed out of place before the screw nut is loose. If this occurs, try again and ensure the tip of the wedge is located in between the screws. When the left-hand screw nut is loose, remove it by hand. Next, switch the wrench to the right-hand screw nut and turn counterclockwise to release the assembly tool. Turn the right-hand screw until the end of the thread lines up with the top. Insert a food grade blocker in the gap between the right-hand screw thread and the outside diameter of the left-hand screw. This will block the screws from turning. Loosen the right-hand screw nut. It is important to remember when using the rotor nut assembly tool that it is necessary to remove the left-hand screw nut first before removing the right-hand screw nut to allow for proper removal of the wedge tool. Once the screws have been installed into the pump shafts, hand tighten both screw nuts. To install the right hand screw nut, turn the screws so that the end of the thread of the left hand screw is lined up to the bottom. Insert the wedge component of the assembly tool into the gap behind the left hand screw thread. Turn the dowel counterclockwise until the wedge is in contact with the screws. Begin to torque down the right-hand screw nut with the wrench. The wedge should begin to engage in between the outside diameter of the right-hand screw and the root diameter of the left-hand screw. This prevents the screws from turning. With the wedge engaged, torque down the right-hand screw nut to the specified torque which is found in the manual. After the right-hand screw nut is torqued down, switch the wrench to the left-hand screw nut and turn clockwise. This will release the assembly tool. Turn the left-hand screw until the end of the thread lines up with the top. Insert a food grade blocker in the gap between the left-hand screw thread and the outside diameter of the right-hand screw. This blocks the screws from turning. Torque down the left-hand screw nut to the specified torque as found in the manual. If the primary wedge is worn, use the wedge on the other side of the tool. Based on its orientation, it must be used on the same screw that the wrench is positioned on. Clean and dry the wedge components to prevent slippage. Angle the wedge when engaging it between the screws. Replace the tool if wedge components are worn.